This week on e-learning, it's all about kicking for distance. Oh yeah. All right, welcome back, boys and girls. E-learning week number eight, I believe, coming up. You know, this week is week eight. We're talking about kicking for distance because we've been talking about um, our soccer unit. We've gone through dribbling, we've gone through passing, and now I know some of y'all's favorite stuff, Coach, yep. kicking for distance. So let's talk about the cues about what would make a good soccer player kick for distance. What are the cues what they would use? Yeah, so if you want to be a good kicker for distance, here are the cues right here that we're gonna talk about. So, we're gonna step with our opposite foot, all right? Not the kicking foot, the other foot that you're not kicking with. Check out these pictures. Look, they're stepping next to the ball with their opposite foot. Nice. They're going to, first with their kicking foot, they're going to um, create a backswing. So look, look at this picture. His kicking foot is um, behind him and that's gonna create momentum. It's gonna create force so that you can kick with lots of power, because remember, you're kicking for distance, so you want to get that ball far away from you. Next, you want to contact the ball in the center, or sorry, in the uh, below the center of the ball. My bad. We were kicking um, at the center of the ball when we were passing and dribbling. Yes. Now we want to kick below the center, at the bottom of the ball. Do you know why? Why do we want to kick it below the center of the ball, Coach? Why? Um, I bet they know why. Do you know why? It's going to help us get under the ball and get the ball up in flight, up in the air, yes. okay? Um, and we want to kick on the t with the top of our foot with our shoelaces, all right? Remember, passing and dribbling, we were using the size, we were using, um, you know, inside and outside of our foot. Now we want to kick with the top of our foot, not with our toe, though. There is a, uh, a difference. Yes. We're kicking with our shoelaces right here on the top of our foot, okay? Absolutely. And then... As always, you want to follow through, following through to your target so you can finish off that kick. Right. So that's what we're going to be working on this week, these long distance kicks. We'll have a few videos after this that will show you the tasks that we want you to do. Okay. And we'll have some slow motion videos going over the cues. Mm -hmm. Your goal this week is to approach and strike your soccer ball with the correct body part so that the ball travels in the intended direction and height. So we want the ball to go in an intended direction, okay, which would be at the target. It could be any target you pick. It could be a tree. It could be a wall. It could be a goal if you have one at home. Okay, so any, just pick a target and you want your ball to go in that direction. Then you also want it to be at a desired height. We want the ball to get up in the air this time, okay? So we don't want the ball to stay on the ground. We want it getting up in the air. So make sure you're getting underneath the ball um, for, so it will get some flight. So your hot question for the week, on your discussion question, we want you to explain or create a situation where you would need to kick for distance in a soccer game. So I know a lot of you are going to pick one that I can already think of, but there's many more than just one way that you want that when you would kick for distance. Okay. So um, you could pick the position of player who would use the kicking for distance. You could pick the situation. I, I, there's many variables that you can pick um, to answer that hot question. So, coach. Anything else? No, I think we about covered it. So don't forget to watch our videos, look through the PowerPoints, and um, don't forget to submit your discussion. And as always, we'll see you on Friday at our Zoom meeting. Yes, Zoom meetings. And also, if you don't have a soccer ball at home, create something. Be yeah. creative, a stuffed animal, uh, make a ball paper, anything, okay? Ball think room. of way, think outside the box Baseball. that you can come up with something that can be kicked, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. All right. See, See you, you out there on the e-learning world. <laughs>